Hello there. My name is Bill. Bill Jenkins. And I just thought I'd come on here to tell you that I'm venturing outside of the house today. Taking the microphone with me. Going to the supermarket. Yeah, that was a close call, wasn't it? Last week for the old Bill. Bloody condoms. I should be so lucky. My Margaret is long gone. Mum, Mum Maria didn't come round with Ray in the end last week. I needed time to recuperate from all the tomfoolery that went on. Imagine what my neighbours must have thought. Oh, look at that Mr Jenkins at number 23, he's got the coppers round. Oh, look at that Bill over there, he's in trouble. Thankfully, he was after a man called Bill Duncan. And not me, anyway. I can go to the shop now. I just grabbed my bag for life. Because I don't dare pay those bastards. Don't pay for one. way to the supermarket now. Let's go, you know. Busy out here today. Oh look, that Mrs. Long's out. Saying that though, she isn't exactly long, is she? She's, I mean, she's quite short. Right, enough about her. My daughter always says, Dad, you can't say these things. And I always say, well, yes you can. Mother's gone, so why not? I always say to my granddaughter, you say whatever you want to say. Freedom of speech, ain't it? Although saying that, that appears to be gone. We need it back. I only joined that trip book site when he's on no man took over. Now here's a man who knows how important freedom of speech is. So many people do not like it. You know that he took over the service. All those accounts deactivated. Gone. Users gone. Well, you know what I always say? If you don't like it, you can fuck off. Here we are, let's go. Well, I uh, never expected it to be this quiet. <laughs> Did you? I'll be a person in here. Right, now, uh, if I just get my list out of my pocket, First of all, I need some fruity juices. You know, when, when my little Ray comes to visit, she loves them. Mind you, so do I. Right, fruity juices, fruity juices, fruity juices. Ah, pack of fruity juices. Four cartons. Four pound? Four fucking pound for four cartons of juice that I'll rot your teeth and make you look like Albert Steptoe. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Why should I have to leave? Your prices have forced me to this. I'm a I mean, four band off for a packet of four, may I add four cards of fruity juice, which, quite frankly, is a waste of money. If you think they're expensive, then why are you thinking of buying them, sir? Well, for my granddaughter, but I tell you, they can fucking get off my shopping list now. Can you stop swearing, please, sir? As you can hear, 
I should be allowed to say what I want. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be telling me what I can and can't say. You lot are a bunch of guns. I won't be coming to you. Oh, 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 oh. Sir, mister, are you okay? Listen, we think you've collapsed. Would you like us to call anyone? We're calling an ambulance, of course. This is Blesco standard procedure, but if you want us to inform any family, I can I can see you have a mobile phone. Sir, can you hear me? Sir, hello, sir. Hello there, Mr. Jenkins. Can you hear me? Love, I can. Right, I am just going to shove this in here. Oh, smashing. If only my wife ever said that to me. Maybe heart attacks are worth the agony. Dad, excuse me. I'm sorry, Penny. Oh, uh, oh, Maria, love, I didn't see you there, love. How's, how's my little Ray, love? Hey, hey, look, I'm alive. Same old dad, filthy minded and foul mouthed to the core. <laughs> well, what can I say? It is my motto. Yeah, and I guess it is why we love you. <sighs> old Man Beer was a production courtesy of Totally Bonkers Productions and written and performed by Bob Barnes.